How are you currently splinting cubital tunnel syndrome? Well, we designed our cubital comfort brace in collaboration with Dave Auerbach from Southern California Orthopedic Institute. And at the time, it seemed counterintuitive to him that the existing cubital tunnel braces used posterior shells to block the flexion of the elbow. Also, the braces available all covered the ulnar nerve, which was exactly what we wanted to be, wanted to be free. The brace we built with Dr. Auerbach is simple, yet highly effective. The brace is constructed with two ventral stays. These stays allow the splint to be adjusted to the desired degree of flexion. This is a unique feature that rigid or non-malleable braces do not allow. On those stays are glyphs that actually help the patient determine where the brace is reapplied. A hand that goes toward the hand, the head toward the head. To apply the brace, we simply pull it onto the arm and make sure that we get it high enough so that the bend in the brace fits right into the antecubitum of the elbow. To secure it, we simply pull the two straps counter to one another, both the distal straps and the proximal straps. Once the brace is applied, you'll note that there is absolutely no pressure on the ulnar nerve. The elegance and the design of this brace is in its simplicity and its function. It doesn't immobilize, but it blocks flexion. Go ahead, try to scratch your nose. The patients can't. There are two sizes of the brace, one short, which fits the vast majority of people, and then one longer version of the brace. The rule of thumb that I use is if the patient is six foot four or greater or has a really long arms, use the longer version. The brace is easily donned and doffed by the patient. Simply loosen one side of the, of the straps and the brace can be slid off the arm and then slid back onto the arm for reapplication. Of all the braces at Healy & Weber, the Cubital Comfort Brace has had two studies performed on it. The first study compared five prefabricated braces and it showed the Cubital Comfort Brace to be the best. Then, Washington University in St. Louis saw that study and took its findings and plugged the brace into its protocols in an outcome study. It's amazing the results that they achieved using this brace and their protocols. Would you be interested in those studies? How does that brace feel on your arm? Feels great. <laughs>